Hello friends, in this part, we will again go to admin side, here we will make in which admin can see all user list, who has register for take part in examination. In previous part, we have discussed how to list enroll exam list, at user side, so user can view the exam list, in which he or she already enroll. For list register user list at admin side, we have go to master folder and open user.php file. In file, first we have write include statement, with header.php file, it will included header.php file into this file. After this, we have make one table with id is equal to user data table. We will initialize jQuery data table plugin on this table. In this table, we have create six table column like image, username, email address, gender, mobile number, and email verified. Now we have moved to write jQuery code part, and here we have write data table variable is equal to table ID user data table with data table method, it will initialize jQuery data table plugin. Under this method, we have write processing option, which has been set to true, this is feature will control the processing indicator. Then after, we have defined second option server side set to true, this option will enable data tables in server side processing mode. After this, we have define order option with blank array value, this will initial remove table order from table. Now we want to load data from user table by using Ajax in this data tables, so we have define Ajax option here. Under this, we have first define URL option, and in this option we have write, Ajax action.php file, it will send Ajax request to this file. Then after, under Ajax option, we have to define other option like type set to post, so here we have defined data send method, which has been set to post method. For send data to server, with Ajax request, here we have write data, and under this we have write action variable, with fetch value, and page variable with user value. Now in data tables option, we have defined one more column definition option, from this option we can set column definition initialization properties. Under this, we have defined target sub option with column number like 0 and 6 in array. By using this option, it will remove default table sorting feature from first and seven column. Now we have go to Ajax action.php file, and here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar post page variable value is equal to user, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have again write, if statement and under condition, we have write dollar post action variable value is equal to fetch, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar output variable is equal to array. Now we have write dollar exam object with query variable is equal to select star from user table with where condition. This query will fetch user data from user table. 
Below this query, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write is set function, with dollar post search value variable. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code, and here we have write dollar exam object with query variable, and here we have append query like, or user email address like dollar post search value variable, it will search data in user email address table column. Same for search data in user name table column data, so here we have write dollar exam object with query variable, and here we have append query like, user name table column, like dollar post search value variable. For search user gender table column data, so here we have write dollar exam object with query variable, and here we have append query like, or user gender table column, like dollar post search value variable. For search user mobile number table column data, so here we have write dollar exam object with query variable, and here we have append query like, or user mobile number table column, like dollar post search value variable. Now for sort data, here we have write, if statement and under condition, we have write is set function, with dollar post order variable. This condition will be true, if it has received request for table column, sorting. Under this block, we have write dollar exam object, with query variable, and here we have append query like, order by dollar post, order zero column, and dollar post order zero with directory index, this query will sort particular column data, in ascending or descending order. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and here we have write dollar exam object, with query variable, and here we have append query like, order by user ID in descending order. Now we have define, one dollar extra query variable is equal to, blank value. Below this variable, we have write if condition, and under condition we have write, dollar post length variable value, is not equal to minus one. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar extra query variable, and here we have append query like, limit dollar post start variable value, comma dollar post length variable, this query is for pagination. Now we have write dollar filtered rows variable is equal to, dollar exam object with total row method, this method, will return number of rows affected, after above query execution. After this, we have again write dollar exam object with query variable, and here we have append query of dollar extra query variable. Now we have write dollar result variable is equal to, dollar exam object with query result method, it will return query execution result in array format. After this, we want to get total data of user table, for this also we have write dollar exam object, with query variable is equal to, select star from user table. Below this query, 
we have write dollar total rows variable is equal to dollar exam object with total row method it will return number of rows affected after execute above query after this we have write dollar data variable is equal to blank array now we have write for each loop and under condition we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable under this loop we have write dollar sub array variable is equal to array now we have write dollar sub array variable is equal to image tag with source is equal to upload folder name slash dollar row user image variable it will display user profile image For display username data, here we have write dollar sub array variable is equal to dollar row username variable. For display user email address data, here we have write dollar sub array variable is equal to dollar row user email address variable. For display user gender data, here we have write dollar sub array variable is equal to dollar row user gender variable. For display user mobile number data, here we have write dollar sub array variable is equal to dollar row user mobile number variable. Now here we have write dollar is email verified variable is equal to blank value. After this, we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar row user email verified variable is equal to, yes, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar is email verified variable is equal to, label tag with bootstrap class, badge and badge success with yes as text but suppose above condition false then it will execute else block of code and here we have write dollar is email verified is equal to label tag with class is equal to badge and badge danger with no as text now we have write dollar sub array variable is equal to dollar is email verified variable it will display email verification status so here we have store all data in dollar sub array variable now we want to store in dollar data variable for this here we have write dollar data variable is equal to dollar sub array variable. After this, we have write dollar output variable is equal to array. In first key, we have write draw, and in value we have write dollar post draw variable. In second key, we have write records total and in value we have write dollar total rows variable value in third key we have write records filtered and in value we have write dollar filtered rows variable value and in last key we have write data and in value we have write dollar data variable value now we want to send this data to Ajax request in JSON format, so here we have echo statement, with JSON encode method, and under this we have write dollar output variable, 
So here our code is ready, so now we have check output in browser. Friends, here we have login in admin account, here we can see email link and user link on web page, so for see register user data, we have click on user link. After click on this link, here we can see register user list in jQuery data table plugin. This is the that user list, who has register into system for take page in online examination. Here we can see that, data has been load in jQuery data table plugin, so here pagination, searching feature has been built, without writing any line of code. Here we can also check user email verification process, that means user has verify his or her email or not. So, in this part, we have learned how to load register user data in jQuery data table plugin, with server side processing, and in next part we will discuss, we will track single user history of examination enrollment. If you have some suggestion regarding this PHP based online examination system, you can comment in comment box. If you want to learn this system, please stay connected with us.